Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Mike, and this high school soccer video is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. All of the 562.org soccer coverage this year is sponsored by Beach Football Club. All our poly coverage this year is sponsored by Juju Smith-Schuster. Good luck in the Super Bowl, buddy. And by Jayon Brown and Playfair Sports Management. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors. Let's get to it. Long Beach Poly hosting Hesperia in a second round CIF Southern Section playoff match. And there was no Hezzy in Hesperia. The Scorpions come out on the front foot or whatever Scorpions have instead of feet. They go up 1-0 on a goal by Jorge Negrete. Incredible start to the game for Hesperia. Coming down to 1600 Atlantic, kind of taking it to Poly. Jackrabbits definitely uh, needed to sort of wake up and respond. Their coach is telling them, you guys look like you're sleepwalking and they would respond. Steve Marquez's free kick cleaned up by Joshua Cholico. Cholico with the score to even it up in the 20th minute. From that point on, it kind of felt like Polly was going to run away with this thing, but the goal just did not come. Polly keeper Amir Diaz Espinoza with a great save here, but he was not often tested for the rest of regulation in this game. Jackrabbits really controlling play. Their best weapon, the long throw by Victor Kagura Badza. He's a bad Kagura, bad mama shut your mouth. But as you see, I mean, these throws are just perfect on target, but not finding the net, unable to connect a couple times, just kind of bouncing through the box. This one actually rolls up onto the frame. So close to the winner for the Jackrabbits, but none of them able to find the net. So it was 1-1 after regulation. We played two 10-minute golden goal overtimes. It was still 1-1, so we're going to penalties. It's hugs and prayers for Amir Diaz Espinoza. Can't imagine the pressure on goalies in this situation. Jackrabbits line their five up. Hesperia kicking first. Negrete makes his. And then Roque Alvarez for Polly is going to make his. So it's 1-1 after the first round of PKs. We go to the second round. Hesperia would convert again. Pressure on Polly. Roberto Bermudez says, no pressure. Sophomore netting it calmly 2-2 after two rounds. Hesperia converts again in the third round. Here comes Marquez for Polly, and it's 3-3. Three three. Who's going to blink first? This scorpion stinger just a little high for Hesperia. And now Polly, you see uh, Diaz Espinoza fired up. Polly, the chance to go up. And Noah Ramirez puts it in. It's 4-3. That means one more from Polly, no matter what. And this thing would be over. You see the crowd, the team going nuts, the crowd going nuts. Very loud, great atmosphere here at Bertram Field. But Hesperia makes the fourth. So it's 4-4 with the last kick coming. Damian Gonzalez's attempt is swallowed up by the Hesperia keeper. And it's 4-4. We're going to the extra tiebreaker for the tiebreaker. In the sixth round, Hesperia would make their fifth. So pressure back to Polly. But Cholico converts and it's 5-5. But the next attempt is wide and it's winner, winner. Wait, wait a second. This thing isn't cooked. Put it back in the oven. Polly, it's still tied. You have to make one here. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Rabbit celebrating the premature celebration uh, as the coaches are going to run out and try and get these guys back in line. See, they're spilling all over the field, but this thing's not over. It's still 5-5. Five to five. The Jack Rabbits now have to restart, reset themselves, calm themselves down, and convert here. Not an easy thing to do in sports, but Anner Aguilar says, well, it's hard for you, maybe. Winner, winner, heat it up. Check it, stir it up, heat it up again. All right, it's finally done. Winner, winner, PKs for dinner. Jackrabbits on to the quarterfinals for the first time since 1999. Head coach Eric Leone said Aguilar was the perfect man, and he said as soon as he saw 1-4 walking out to the spot, he knew, quote, it's a wrap. Said he's just one of those kids, maybe the hardest worker he's had in this poly program. Rides his bike to summer league games, never complains, never pouts, does whatever his team needs him to. And tonight they needed him to be a hero. He was good enough for that. Incredible moment for 14. You see how much he means to his teammates. 
and how much that win meant to the Jackrabbits by the way they celebrated that thing. Diaz Espinosa picking him up and saying, thanks, man, I really didn't want to go and face seven and eight and nine rounds of, of PKs, but an incredible performance all the way around. Leon, love a coach who knows when to do this. He says, bleep what I was about to say, just go enjoy the night. Congratulations on a huge win. And Polly obviously fired up. They're going to enjoy that one for sure. Video's going up about 2, 3 in the morning. They may still be up waiting on this thing. Exciting night for the Jackrabbits program. Exciting night for Long Beach soccer. They will be hosting, Polly will be hosting Anaheim on Wednesday back here at Bertram Field in the Division II quarterfinals. Should be a great one, of course. If you want coverage of that game and everything else, Long Beach soccer and Long Beach sports, you got to keep it right here at the 562.